Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor, and this is a bit of a different video. Um, so, it's a little bit late, sorry. I've been uh, laid out with a neck problem. Um, unfortunately, I'm still recovering from it, but I went to work today, so yay. But this video, so there's been some reading I've been doing in the last couple of months that I haven't talked about on this channel, and that hasn't been on Goodreads. Because this year I am, this semester, I am studying Australian literature. Um, and it's not, we're not reading like whole books. We're reading mostly poetry and short story, but the occasional excerpt of something longer. Um, but yeah, Australian literature, which is interesting because it's literature with a capital L, um, which makes me kind of roll my eyes. But it's the kind of stuff that I've not really read a lot. I mean, I've read some of it. Like, for example, we did uh, The Man from Snowy River by Banjo Patterson, the poem, which I'm not sure you can actually grow up in Australia and not know The Man from Snowy River. Um, I've definitely read it before. Um, I have, for example, of course, also come across the poem My Country by Dorothy McKellar. Although I hadn't realised that the bit that everybody knows is actually the second verse. Um, the first verse is actually about England, and then it goes into A Lover Sunburn Country. Um... But yeah, so these are my texts. So this is the Collected Poems of Francis Webb, um, edited and introduced by my lecturer. So this is the one author we did two weeks on. Um, I'd never heard of Francis Webb, he's a poet, uh, from sort of the middle of the century. And apparently he was really, really quite new and ahead of his time. He also apparently had schizophrenia and spent much at the end of his life in an institution, which is um, quite sad. And so some, some of his poems about that. I didn't quite understand his poetry. I'm a bit hit and miss with poetry. I need it to be fairly straightforward um, with you know, a narrative or a point and plain English. Uh, you start getting into metaphors and I start getting confused. Um, unfortunately, that's just how it is. But, you know, it was still interesting. So that's Francis Webb. The other textbook is this massive, massive book, which is the Macquarie Pen Anthology of Australian Literature. Um, so most of what we're reading is in this. Um, excerpts, poems, letters. Um, there's been some really interesting stuff. So like one for the first, second week, I think, we read, um, here it is, Letter to Mr. F Phillips, Lord Sydney Steward um, from Benelong. Uh, so this is the first known English writing uh, that still exists by an Aboriginal person um, and it's really quite a sad like it's a really it's really 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 quite depressing um, uh, what else uh, there was also on the Indigenous theme we looked at some of David Unipon's work um, most people in Australia know David Unipon as the guy on the $50 note uh, but he was an inventor and a writer and a philosopher um, really smart guy and what we read was basically he had a proper classical education he was taken off a mission and put into domestic work but he was educated um and so he wrote this collection of traditional indigenous stories but in the style of greek mythology um trying to make that connection between uh european christianity and indigenous spirituality so that was really interesting um, I also, we read an excerpt of My Brilliant Career by Miles Franklin. Now, I know the name Miles Franklin because, like, one of the biggest literary awards in the country is named the Miles Franklin. And recently, in recent years, we've had the Stella, which is also named after Miles Franklin, um, because, you know, and acknowledges uh, Australian female authors. Um... So I know the name, but I've never like actually read or even watched the film version of My Brilliant Career. Um, but I'm kind of I'm kind of intrigued to actually pick it up maybe one day because I liked what I read, and my lecturer kept um, describing it as like I can't remember the phrase he used, but like a grumpy bush version of Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice. like a, so I'm kind of kind of intrigued. So maybe one day I will actually pick up My Brilliant Career by Miles Franklin. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. Oh, Henry Lawson. So Henry Lawson is another one of those poets that you hear alongside Banjo Patterson all the time. Um, but he's probably the most famous for 
the short story he wrote, the, uh, the Drover's Wife, which I'd never read until now, and now I have, and I actually really liked it. I found it very interesting, and I may actually be using it for my end of semester essay, um, which I haven't started and I probably should. Anyway, um, so yeah, and I also am kind of intrigued to get try and get hold of a copy of Leah Purcell's rewriting of The Drover's Wife. She did it as a play, and she like completely... Didn't completely change it, but she shifted it to making the main character part indigenous without even realise who, but not realising that she was part indigenous. And apparently she like just changed the whole theme of the story while it was still the same story. So I, I'm kind of intrigued to see that one day maybe. Um, but yeah, so coming up. Um, we have this week, I'm really looking forward to my reading for this week. I haven't started it yet, but, um, but we have two poets that I have read before. Um, and at least one who I love. Um, I think I do like Judith Wright. Like, I'm fairly certain I studied Judith, Judith Wright in English literature in college. I just actually can't remember clearly. But also this week is Audrey Nunkanal, um, who was once known as Katha Walker. And she, you've probably, I think I've got a review of her collection, My People, on this channel, um, somewhere. Pretty sure I did a review of it. Um, she writes amazing, she's an Indigenous writer, and she wrote amazing poetry that is political and straightforward and plain English, and, but it's, it's so powerful. So, I'm reading both of them this week, so that will be really cool, particularly as my previous assignment was an, uh, article analysis which I did on an article about Judith Wright and Uju who were great friends as well as being um, great poets so I'm thinking I might use Uju's poetry as the other text in my research essay so um, yeah I'm looking forward to that but yeah that is some of the stuff that I have been reading but not talking about and not putting on Goodreads because it's hard to put like individual poems and excerpts on Goodreads um, but yeah, so Australian literature, it's, it's been an interesting journey, interesting journey. So, because we've got over, we've got nearly two centuries of the stuff now. So, um, it's really interesting to see this sort of stuff that maybe we should be being taught in school, like in high school, but we keep doing English literature and reading modern novels rather than some of the older stuff. But, um, but yeah, it's been interesting. Anyway. Um, hopefully this is a reasonably short video after the last one, um, and hopefully I will be well soon, which would be great. Um, but I'm not sure what video is coming next, but I will see you all really soon. Bye!